my earliest memories of Anthrax, um, I mean, of all the bands I know, I probably have the most history with them, and because we almost, we literally grew up together. First time we met Eddie Trunk would have to be back in 83 at DHA. That would be DHA in New Jersey, yeah. And uh, we got to go on Eddie's show and, you know, introduce the world, to, or New Jersey anyway, to Anthrax. As I started working in radio in 83, uh, they put out their first record, so for Fistful of Metal, I still have the album. They came up and signed it to me, and I was like one of their first interviews. And it was kind of new to us at the time. We never did interviews before, so we thought Ed Trunk was this big radio DJ. Little did we know, he was nobody. <laughs> <laughs> then later on, I was hired by their label, Megaforce, and their management uh, to work there. So around the time of spreading the disease and Among the Living, I was actually working in their office on the label and management side. He loved the Spreading the Disease record because out of all these thrash bands, he said we were the only ones that had a singer and had melody. Yeah. And you know, we, we fuck with him back and forth, but he's, you know. Did he sign King's X? No. no that wasn't his sign? He signed Icon. Hmm. So it's been literally decades of friendship and ball busting, and uh, to this day, it continues. I've known Eddie Trunk 30, Three, 34 years, host, really? And this is what it's come to? You on a damn TV show? Big man, right? Big man on campus, host. No exceptions. What does that mean? Fuck off. That's what you do. That's done. Hosts. My earliest uh, memory of Anthrax was, um, oh God, it was probably 2004, actually. I was at home, I went and got the mail, and I just saw this strangely addressed envelope, and I opened it up, and all this white powder fell out. And uh, thank God it wasn't Anthrax, but, uh, oh, the band? Oh, um, like a long time ago at Lemoore's.